Good Monday morning and welcome to another episode of Coding in AL. Today we will look at creating procedures and refactoring those procedures. So we will start by creating a code unit. And this code unit I will call it Reward Customer. I'm using this um, extension. Let me just go back here. The AL, uh, AZ AL Dev Tools, you can install the extension because it really gives you an easier way of naming uh, your functions or your files for easy identification. So when I finish, this is the naming convention. The type of the file the number and then the name of the file so here is the code unit um, number and the name of the code unit you see like i'm calling it reward customer because that is the function of the code unit it's supposed to reward the customer it's like using customer reward points based on the payments that they have done so they will be rewarded when they make a payment or a purchase of something and uh, they finally pay it they'll be rewarded so the first way is to make sure that the naming is in line with what you want to achieve uh, it's a part of clean code really advocated by the uncle Bob in his book clean code uh, first of all we need to the naming convention needs to align with what we want our code to do so I want this code unit to just help me in rewarding the customer so how will i i want to use a subscriber to subscribe to which code unit it will be the general journal line post um journal line post patch let me just use this when you post the general journal batch on before general journal post before we finalize the posting we don't have we are not targeting a specific element and uh, we don't uh, we don't want to skip any, when there is no license or when there is no permission we throw an error and here so what will we call this procedure because we have called the code unit it's reward customer so this function what is it supposed to do is it only supposed to reward the customer or what will it do so the procedure uh, first of all the name here will be now the first okay the, the action that we will do on before um, posting the batch run so for me I will calculate maybe the reward points the reward points of this customer and this code unit basically takes in a variable of type journal line that is the input variable from the subscriber when it subscribes it takes in the general journal line so I want to check if there is any first of all we look at the customer the account type if it is uh, uh, okay if the account type is customer the thing that we'll do if the account type is customer we need to verify if uh, the amount is a credit to make sure that it's a payment because the bank is debited at this point and the customer is credited so if it's an invoice is the opposite but if it's a payment it's a credit so the amount uh, uh, in local currency is less than zero uh, we could have now uh, some variables here to sales and receivable setup to a record of type sales and receivable setup where is it sells sell setup so we want to check this there are some extensions that I've created I've pre-created for sales setup dot customer 
customer reward active so we don't want to waste the time if it's active then we begin and then again now we look at the date if the sales setup dot um, customer reward start date is greater than today greater than or equal to today in their setup and the sales setup the that customer reward end date is uh, less than or equal to today uh, then begin okay as you can see the code is getting a little bit cluttered but again when you are doing the logic it's good to first make the code work and then we will deal with the uh, maybe refactoring later so this condition when it's met we have started with uh, making sure um, that everything here is fine uh, and all this is fine blah 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 uh -huh. okay so the last thing here is to now add the reward to the customer so we need another variable a record for customer to look at the total rewards points uh, customer to look at now what will happen we need now to say the customer dot reward total or okay, total reward points will be equal to um, what first of all you need to get the account type is customer so we need to get the customer and then we need to get this customer from the general line, general line dot account number and then make sure that uh, after getting them then we say the reward points will be okay there's a variable that i've forgotten to specify the how many what amount is equal to what how many reward points like if 10 shillings is equal to um okay 10 uh, let me say if one reward point is equal to maybe a hundred uh shillings spent or the amount of uh, money spent so for instance here the reward points will be now let me use 100 hard coded but we should have it in the setup uh, so we'll have the amount uh general line dot amount amount lcy divided by 100 so that will be equal to the reward points of the customer but now here we'll just do plus is equals um that and then we modify uh, modify so we have to we are adding because the in subsequent payments we don't need to reduce whatever they have already earned so during the start of the reward points we can maybe uh, at that time uh, execute or change this so at this point yes our code is working well but assuming if someone comes to this code they will definitely not understand anything that is happening here first of all my naming convention is out here yes it's reward customer um so uh here my function should be execute let me call it let me start the refactoring process execute customer reward So this is the subscriber. We are executing the customer reward at this point. So what is the first thing we need? We don't need to have a more than we have only one variable here, which is okay. We don't need to have. A, we need to have a maximum of just the execute customer reward is only supposed to do one thing. But what it's doing? It's verifying that um, if it's a customer if it's uh then it's checking for the amount all this is a logic that it's executing and then it's checking if the reward is active and all these 
all this code that is here is not contributing to executing this customer reward this code is checking for the validity of this execution if um, the validity of the execution of the reward so what should I call it I should create a procedure okay another procedure to do what to um, check if um, check if reward is a uh, let me see what check if reward is active and then it will take a variable of um, general journal line record of type general journal line that we have subscribed on the other side and then gen journal line uh, we called it gen gen line and then it will exit a boolean a boolean as the exit value we can give it a name but for now let's leave it like that check if customer reward is active the thing that this function is doing it's only checking for the validity of the customer reward if it's active then we proceed if not then we don't do anything so everything from here that is its function to verify if the customer reward is active so i'll copy it all here and 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 so now our function will have to change after i have pulled this setup this variable the function will change in a way okay we'll have the variable here refactoring takes maybe twice the time that you took to develop but it really helps because the code will be really simple after we have refactored so the first thing we are checking uh, so we can even isn't it if now the account type will say if it's not equal to customer then we exit false we don't need to execute all these other uh, but because we have already verified if it's not a customer then we exit false now we go to this part if the amount is not uh, if it's less than zero then we exit false and as well here now if not active then we exit false we don't need to process anything at this point so this is our validation and finally when we come to this part of looking at the dates so now that we have exited everything uh, we have made sure that the cu customer is okay here it should be greater than or equal if it's a debit then we exit if it's not a customer then we exit so here at this point now we now to need to look at the exit value will be now pegged on the last condition if it's true if this reward date is true and let me show you how we do it here if we have not yet arrived at the reward date okay i'm saying something funny here in my condition so the reward date sh the start date should not be should be greater it's okay greater than today
No, it should be less. Yeah, I get my point. It should not be greater. And this one, the end date should be greater than or equal to today. Because the start date should be always less, less than today or equal, and the end date should be greater than. So that was a mistake in my code, logical mistake. So I will exit if this condition is true. But anyone who comes to use my code, they'll understand this function is exactly it. It's looking for the activity or if the reward is active. And if it's active, so so we can even make it better. It's a process that on goes as use. So if customer reward is active, if customer reward is active, then we pass the general journal line, then begin. So we have simplified our function, our syntax to be as easy as this. We have refactored our code to enable the next person who uses it will give them easier an easier time when they're using it. So we are looking at if the reward is active, please proceed. If it's not active and then and um, if it's not active then exit. Anyone who comes to use this code will find it very easy to understand whatever is going on. They'll just look at oh is the reward active? No. Yes. Okay, the reward and then if they want to look at the details when they go in here, okay, all these begins and ends are not needed. And this one And finally, this one. Yeah, our code has been simplified to mm -hmm. only one begin and the one for the procedure and just one here. And on this side, you can see we have said we have refactored our code and it's very beautiful. We don't need to even add so many comments. So if the customer reward is active, we pass the journal line and then this one will verify all those conditions and it is only doing one thing checking if this reward is active if it's active then it will reward that particular customer and we exit i think that's how we can refactor our code using functions i believe uh, in some legacy applications that i have used i found maybe some developers not really taking the advantage of refactoring the code and it becomes really hard to add a feature to even modify their their code because they have not refactored it well <clears throat> and so i will see you in the next video may god bless you and that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification